Welcome to the channel. I got another crazy idea in my head. I've been thinking a long time about making this like free energy machine. And I've, I've, I've got it in my head that it's, this is gonna work, but it may or may not, I don't know. What I'm thinking is I'll drill a hole in this bucket and then I'll you know, hook it to this 12 volt pump. And then I'll have another line feeding this 12 volt generator that will run back into the bucket and it should run itself. I may have to use a battery just to get the pump going, but once I get the pump going, it should run through this generator and have a 12 volt current to run the pump. So it should run on its own without any other power source. In my head, it works, you know, but we're gonna give it a shot anyways. Oh yeah, just an FYI, I watched that new Roadhouse movie on Prime last night, and it's freaking awesome. They better not nobody come in the shop today, because I'm ready. All right, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna drill a hole in the bucket, and I got this little fit in here, and a little uh, nut. I'm gonna put it in the bucket like that, tighten it down, then I can hook my line to this. I got this Ace Hardware bucket here. Ace is the place, you know? That's the only place around here anyways. I'm gonna drill a little hole. Oh my gosh. That's like a perfect fit. It is, it'll screw in there. I'm gonna put a little caulk on it anyways. Well, that should be a snug fit right there. I got caulk all over me. Put a little more caulk around it. There we go. I don't think it's gonna leak. I got this nut to go inside of it, but I really don't think it needs it, but I'll put it on there anyways. There we go. It should work. I ain't got no fancy cutters to cut this pipe with, but get one of these. About this much. All right, now I'm gonna attach it like that. I don't have any fancy uh, crimps either, so I'm just gonna use these. Am I the only one out there that sucks with like knowing the size of of nuts? I just dig through that like three minutes just to find the right size. Whatever. I'm not a mechanic. All right. What do you think about that? That should work. Now I want to attach my pump to this hose. It's a little too small, so I'm going to take my heat gun and heat it up and then Press that sucker in there. Now what this is. Seen them videos where they got these uh, guns they can put in there and whoop, 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 and make the hole bigger. I ain't got that. I'm gonna heat it up and put it in there. It's the same thing, kinda. All right, all right. All right. I think it's ready. Push it. Oh no, I need a clamp. Ugh. Hurry up, put the clamp on, push it in, <laughs> like a glove. All right, look, my bucket, my line, my pump, now I just need to attach this and then run it back over. I, I got this uh, pump out of a boat and I, I ordered this, it was like, 12 or 13 dollars and all these other little pieces are just little parts i had uh, left over from when we built our house so and i bought the bucket which is like four dollars so i got like 16 dollars in it all right, before i hook my little generator up here i think i'm going to fill the uh i think i'm going to fill the bucket up with water and test the pump first just to make sure it works before we get to and involved here all right i got some water in my bucket i got the pump hooked up i don't see any leaks so far which is surprising but i'm gonna see if it works uh oh all right well the pump works we ain't got no leaks so let's hook the generator up to it, see what happens probably about like that it's a little small, but I think if I hit it up, I can get it on there. Maybe. God, that's hot. 
You got it on there, though. What do you think the chances are this is going to work? I'm at about 50 50. So. Watch me stumble on some mind blowing technology here, and government kills me for it. Well, redneck ingenuity saves the world. The water comes in, uh, the water comes in right here, and then spins this turbine and goes out, creating 12 volts. Theoretically, I guess. All right, we got our bucket, got our line to our pump, and we got our pump to our uh, generator. So I think I'm gonna hook it up and just run it, and then see how much, uh, see how many volts we have coming out of the generator here. Got my little lawnmower battery. It's turning the turbine. I'll we'll have a mess here. Need a test. It's turning the turbine. All right, we got 18.3 18 point, 18 volts coming out of the turbine on my multimeter. 18.4, 18.5. I'm getting kind of excited. We got 18 volts, so that should be more than enough to power the uh, pump. I think it's going to work. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna make another line that puts this back into the uh, bucket, and then we're gonna try to run it and see what happens. I think it's gonna work. I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic at this point, but that's crazy. Eight, you can get 18 volts out of that little thing right there. Imagine if you had 50 of them. How many volts is that? Don't give me the line because I know I ain't good with math. I'm like really excited. I think it's gonna work. The thought process is. You can get this loop to work on its own without any kind of battery, anything like that. Take another one of these and like put it right here. That would just supply another 12 to 18 volts free, right? If you could upscale this, I could run my shop off of it, right? For free. That's what I'm thinking. I'm in some mind blowing stuff here. I'm gonna turn into a scientist. I've seen these on like YouTube and stuff, but they're always kind of vague. So I'm gonna tell you if it works or not. I'm not smart enough to be doing a deep fake on this crap. All right, now I'm gonna take a elbow and then elbow it and then bring it back into the bucket. Okay. I think I'm out of fittings. This is why you don't throw stuff away. Never know when you're gonna need it. Feel like a engineer or something. Yes, I'm a steel steel engineer. Engineering some random crap here. Alright, so like that. This is high tech, y'all. High tech redneck. Hey, I found this band on uh, TikTok or whatever it is uh old sixty. Pretty freaking good, I ain't gonna lie. I've been wearing them out, so I don't know where they're from. Or I don't know what their name means either, but that dude can sing. I really need one more elbow, but I do not have one. This is what you call about to rig something up, okay? I got a three quarter to a half inch coupling, then I got some half inch pipe that will run down. All right, I got some red pop i'm gonna put a piece of this on then i got some i don't have an elbow but i got some t-brackets and some uh some of these plugs so there's probably a plumber watching me and like what the heck is this thing doing <laughs> Ooh, so i got this t here i'm gonna run then we'll put one pop down and i'll just plug this in May not be the prettiest thing in the world, but we got it, all of our connections. Okay, I got my uh, got my pump and my uh, generator. Got them uh, just kind of tied together right a second. I'm gonna get some little jumper wires that's gonna jump here to the battery just to get the pump going. And then we should, then I'm gonna unhook that and see if it will run on its own. 
I put some new water in here. We had a little bit of plastic flakes from this pipe everywhere, so put some new water in it. We got the we got the uh, hole in the bucket, feeding the pump. We got the generator hooked to the pump. We got some little jumper wires just to hook to the battery to start the pump. So once the pump is running, it should send water through the generator that runs the pump, and then it feeds it back in here. So it should just be in a continuous loop and not need a battery. Right? <laughs> I don't know. So I'm going to hook it up and we'll see what the heck happens. All right. It's running. It's not, it's not working. It's not working. Yeah, I think I need this up here. So I'm going to try that. It may not work. All right. Okay, so test two, we need some water. All right, my hopes are going down now because I just don't see it working now, but. It don't work. Myth busted. All those things online are bull crap. There's not enough juice. I just don't think it's gonna work like I think it's gonna should work. This ain't working the way it's set up, so I think we're gonna have to include the battery into the equation now. I'm gonna wire this uh, generator to the battery, and then I wire. Uh, the pump to the battery and I'm going to hook I'm just going to let it uh, hook it up and just let it run and we're going to just keep checking the battery for volts if the generator uh, keeps the battery charged up full I don't see it for being a problem but if the battery is draining down uh, then it's not just not going to work so I think it's going to work it's just taking figuring out how it's going to all right so it's running it's running all right well i'm just gonna let that run i mean as long as the battery doesn't fall down i mean if it ain't gonna work the battery will go dead so i had to stop the test i had this on this side and I was only reading like 3.6 volts. So I moved it back to this side. Now I'm reading like 18 volts. So I think it's going to have a lot more pressure coming out of the pump than sucking into the pump. But we're resume test. It is, uh, hang on, it is 131 right now. So we are back on track. 19.6 right now. Just wanted to keep feeding water in it because I'm leaking water, but. I'm gonna let it run for a long time. That little uh, propeller in there, it's spinning like crazy now. Pretty cool. Yeah, next time I'm gonna get some better fittings and get everything tightened up. But this was like a, this is just an experiment. Let it run. Okay, so we are about two and a half hours in. Still going. We are at 10 volts. So we went from 19 to 14 to 10. I checked it about 30 minutes ago and it was at 10 volts. So it's, it's at still at 10 volts. So I think this battery is like too big to like for that to keep it like a full charge. I think it needs a smaller battery. But I'm just going to let it keep running and until it dies or just stays at a constant uh, voltage, you know. Hey, in the comments, if anybody has any ideas of how to make this better, hit me up because I will try it. I got a lot of leaks too, so 
I think if I tightened all that up, made it totally leak proof, it would help also. But I don't know if it's a pass or a fail yet. We'll find out shortly. Okay, we're at the five hour mark. And we're about two hours, two and a half hours. It's been holding steady at 10 volts. So I think this battery's too big, but it's it's been charging it. All right, we're going on the, I don't know, six plus hour mark now. Check it again. It's 11.5. I'm gonna call it a win. I think if we had put another uh, generator here, you can charge another battery over or get it. You can put an inverter and you know charge your phone or something like that off of it. Be free, a free charge. I appreciate you watching. I'll keep you updated on it. And like I said, if you have any ideas, just hit me up in the comments. Now we're at 11.8 volts. Hey, subscribe real quick in the corner down there. Just hit it.